Hello and welcome. Because many people use their debit cards for purchases these days, not many people know how to correctly complete a personal check, so this lesson will help you. The first step in writing a personal check is to write the date in the upper right hand corner. The date cannot be post dated. You cannot put a later date, so if you're paying this bill um, on, I believe, May 17th, you cannot write the 18th, the 19th, the 20th in the hopes that it will not be cashed until then. The second step is that you write the name of the recipient on the pay to the order line. You can see I have it here with the blue arrow. In this example, it is Penelec because we're paying an electric bill. Step number three is to write the amount of the check to the right of the dollar sign. And I have it again with a blue arrow. We've written the check numerically, or the amount numerically, $34.55. And to prevent the check from being manipulated, this amount being manipulated, maybe moving the decimal point or adding a zero, you're going to write the monetary amount of the check in the word form below the pay to the order of line. And again, we have it with a blue arrow. So we've written out in words. 34 and we have the cents represented as a fraction over 100. Make sure to complete if, for example, this doesn't go all the way over, make sure that you do something to fill in this line, whether it's a squiggly line or a straight line, just again so that nobody can manipulate it. Step number five. Many people don't make use of this very handy memo line down here. Some checks it actually says memo, this particular example it has four, but you want to make sure you fill out the memo section on the bottom of the check. There's a couple different reasons for this. If your check and your payment were ever separated, if you have an account number, the, the money will go um, to your account um, and, and be credited to you. But it's also helpful for budgeting purposes. So at the end of the month, if you look at your checks, you can see how much money you spent on groceries or clothing or, I don't know, maybe church donations. Um, if you go to a store and you pay by check, sometimes they have your identifying information here, like your birth date, phone number, or date of birth, um, also sometimes your license number. But in Beckeropolis, you're always going to have this memo line filled out. You're going to tell me whether the check was for rent, your electric bill, whether you were paying a fine, um, but it's most useful, I think, if you're loaning someone money or repaying them for a loan. Make sure that you fill that out. That's your proof of payment. Your final step is an easy one. You're going to put your signature on the signature line down here. You have to write in cursive, always complete it in pen, and a check is not valid unless it has a signature down there, so make sure that you have that as your final step. So there you have it, how to write a check in six easy steps. I hope it was helpful.